Hi, welcome back. Nice to see you. In today's video, we'll talk about one of my favorite subjects, mountain photography in black and white. This is also a special episode because it's the first one where I'm showing the results uh, that I had um, by using a film camera only. And in this case is a um, Zeiss Econ Netter uh, folding medium format camera. But before going to the mountains, let's see the camera in detail. The Zeiss Econ Netter that I use came out in the early 50s and I bought it several years ago on an eBay auction. It's a folding medium format camera and this means it's quite compact and lightweight to carry around but you have quality thanks to the lens build and the size of the medium format film, in this case a 6x6. It came with its leather case, the lens shade and a yellow filter. In order to use it, first of all you need to unfold it. To focus, you need to use the scale on the lens in meters and then you can use the viewfinder to compose the photograph. For the exposure, you need to use an external light meter and then you need to set the values of the aperture and shutter speed in the camera manually. The aperture goes from f4.5 until f22 and for the shutter speed you have a maximum of 200 of a second. To take the photo, you need to load the shutter and then press the button on top of the camera. That's enough about the camera and uh, let's talk about our destination. As you may know, I'm Italian but I live in Germany and during the summer holidays I'm going back to Italy to visit my family. And um, even if it's only for some hours, uh, I like to go to visit the mountains. In this video we are at the Colle del Nivole that it's a mountain pass in the Alps between the region of uh, Piemonte and Aosta Valley in the Gran Paradiso National Park. The pass is about 100 kilometers away from Turin, but you need to count over two hours to go there. First, you need to reach Ceresole Reale, that it's 1580 meters above the sea level, and then you need to take the mountain road with several hairpin bends for 18.5 kilometers to reach an altitude of 2612 meters. On the way to the pass there are two artificial lakes where I've also stopped to take some photographs. Then I went on until uh, nearly at the top where there was a viewpoint and from there you have a beautiful sight over the valley and of course from there I have also taken some photo. So let's stop with the talk and have a look. Some of you may have recognized this place from one of my last photographs, the one with the two lakes seen from above, because um, this was the location for the movie The Italian Job of 1969. You can see these two lakes from uh, one of the last scenes in the movie uh, where the bus was hanging on the cliff. Now from the pass you can take several trails and to reach other places, but I needed to go back to Turin 
but um, for sure I would like to go back in one of the next summer holiday. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you like the photos and until next time thanks for watching and bye bye.